Right. Right, yeah, guys and girls, welcome back to a, another video on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do uh, another point of view video. We've got Diablo 4. And uh, let's choose a character in a minute. Uh, I'm going to probably use the Barbarian. And we're recording this in 4K HDR 60fps. So when I can choose the characters, I should if I choose the character here, the female one with the thing, we'll just go for analyze. And then it just uh we'll just uh create a random name and eternal or seasonal realm. Okay, seasonal uh, kind of adventure, yeah. To adventure. Alright. And it should just kick in. And yeah, um so we're just testing out things really on you. See how well this plays out. And it's, um, I got this with the Series X, which is just here. Uh, it was built in. Oh, it's raining now outside. I'm just looking with the rain outside because it's still slightly daylight. So, oh, it's empty in there now. It's a good thing I've only just got back for this beautiful, beautiful Saturday, the 19th of August. At 2.07 in the afternoon. Oh, those graphics look really good for Diablo 4. This is a game by uh, Activision. So it's uh, pretty cool, actually. I mean, look at that. Look at that flames and fire. Because the actual game, I th think it came up as Dolby Vision on it. So that's like a, another form of HDR. And I'm using the Samsung S21 Galaxy to record all this footage as well. So, so technically you're seeing it really good and clear. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's kind of different because I'm doing it from the TV perspective view, from where I'm watching it point of view. Uh, the TV I'm using is a Panasonic one. I think it's like the 800, Panasonic 800. Um, it's got like the cinema thing built in, uh, which is supposed to give it like really good textures and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Ah, poor horse. And the HDR and stuff is supposed to make the actual uh, visuals pop out and stuff. And I thought I might as well record this in HDR because uh, you get that high dynamic range um, of colours where just you'll see the popping, the colours pop. So like the uh, the actual bright colours will be bright and the darker areas be really like sort of darkish on it. So... Not like OLED or anything, but uh, I mean, it's doing all right for the TV and stuff. So that's the main thing. Okay, so she's in like a cave or something. I mean, I played the third game, the Diablo 3, and that was a really good game. Back on the Xbox, I think, I think actually, did I play that on the PlayStation? I think I might have played that on the PlayStation 4 at the time. <clears throat> now that Xbox basically um, own Activision, that means they own uh, um, 
the Call of Duty series as well. So as they own Xbox um, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, look how smooth that is. That's really smooth. All right, let's break all this up. And uh, just here, grab all the stuff. Uh, we've got like double axes as well. So we've got a bit of an axe to grind. And this is from a top view point of view. I don't know if you can change um, the camera angles. Uh, oh. oh, so it's got a cross play. Uh, friend, a friend goes offline. Uh, they've got like, the networks and all that. Cross play network. Cross network communications. Um, hood. Oh, so I suppose you can turn the hoods off then, can you? Can you actually completely turn it off? I don't know if you can or not. I'm sure there's probably a way of doing it. Uh, sound music, so you could turn all that kind of stuff off. Cinematic volume. Uh, voice chats. Cinematic subtitles. Don't they have like um, what do you call it? Uh, like a live stream mode. On targeting objects or play audio on error. Yeah, I don't think they have like a sort of live stream. Cause I'm not too sure if I'll get copyrighted or not for this. Because it used to be like Activision used to copyright a lot of people for just the cutscenes. And it's really bad to be honest. Like when you're a gamer and you're uploading videos and then you get like a, a copyright thing off. Even if you've got the music down. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys and girls have had that sort of before and stuff. But seeming though with Xbox, I'm wondering, because I know Xbox, when it comes to cutscenes and stuff, they're not really bothered as much. Especially when you're playing like the Halo games and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if they say to Activision, oh, well, we've got to be more less lenient on cutscenes of copywriting them or not or if they're just going to let activision basically do their own thing and not worry about it even though they've paid a lot of money uh to buy activision so i don't know i mean if i bought uh, activision for uh, um so much money there'd probably be a lot of changes on the like copyright issues and everything, I'd say that like it's a game at the end of the day, it's cutscenes, and it should be like if you're um got a game and you want to promote it, then the only best people to promote this game is the gamers, the ones who buy the games in the first place. So I'm sort of like I'd be to the point where I'd say, Yeah, okay, right, it's best. If we make more money by getting the gamers sort of promoting the games, we'll still make a lot of money in the long run and uh, all this kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's it's good for everybody, actually. And even if you, like, say, gamers who don't even copyright their games, um, sometimes they still get a copyright on them. Because the, some of these companies just want to make money off people's YouTube channels. Any way they can. So if it comes to that, then I'll just turn off the monetization for this video. Because the thing is, I need like, sort of monetize the videos in the first place. Like uh, if I'm doing videos that I'm working on just doing point of view stuff like this or vlogs and stuff or talking about games that are kind of important to play for me or what I think maybe the audience could uh, like in the end or might not have known or heard of or played. So I play some of these games and sort of kind of testing things out and 
uh, playing different games on different consoles. I don't sort of keep to one console and then just say, oh, well, we're going to like stick with this one. Um, depending on what content comes out, uh, all varies and is all dependent on what I'm actually going to be playing at the time. Um, so I'm just trying to get to this like little village in a minute, but just collecting some of this stuff here. But yeah, so this is like a sort of a top-down game. I remember investing a lot of hours into playing like number three at the time and oh i'll tell you what the amount of hours i put in on diablo 3 was very ridiculous the amount of hours and me actually doing videos and stuff for like activision stuff here and stuff i'm actually promoting their game so i mean uh in one way it's uh good for everybody actually because if i like a game I want to sort of like say, oh, it's a good game. It's like, this is really good. Um, and then that actually gets more people buying the game. If I like it, maybe they might try it out or maybe they try the demo. And if they like the demos, I think there should be more demos out for different consoles. So people can try the games before they, uh, they purchase it. Because um, that would be helpful either on xbox or playstation there should be demos for every single game um a lot of the game companies should do it as well for the, the, the demos because there's probably some games out there that i probably wouldn't pl normally play but i might test the demos out and see if i like it and it might change my mind might um that's the big question and on, let's have a look here oh another abandoned town Okay, so it's like a, a door here. Okay, ooh. What's going on here? Was it you? Oswin, hush. I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons spilling from the ruins kill us all, kill us all. Ruins, what is he talking about? Don't tell me. Oh, here we go. So she's going to... I'll tell you what, though. I like the um, the shadows and the uh, like ground textures as well. The snow textures. To be honest, I put a lot of like investing my time into video games. And also putting a lot of investment into doing videos for my channel. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I like it. It's great and stuff. And that's what I'm going to be continuing doing. Uh, even if YouTube's around in the next 90 to 100 years, I'll still be around. Um, not like some YouTubers who say they're going to be, like, gone. And then the next day or something, or they do a, a video on their channel and say, Oh, I've had enough. I'm not doing any more videos on YouTube no more. And then suddenly they sort of do a twist turn and then they come back the next day and then they delete the video and stuff. And it was very funny as this one person said, oh, if I tell you, you're going to hear it from the horse's mouth and I'll tell you if I leave uh, YouTube or not. And then suddenly the next minute they're still like um, around. And like uh, in the the days before, they say, oh, they were going to leave YouTube. And then suddenly, like, they deletes the video. And then next minute, oh, what's this? Oh, wow. Oh, it's a bear. It's Brian. Ah, oh, poor Brian. Sorry, Brian. It's Brian, the homeless bear. It's not homeless no more. 
I've just killed them. Now I've got to try and find the moose. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I mean, some people, you get some people, like I said, they're going to leave YouTube and then they decide to, like, they backtrack on it. And then because they, they get caught out and stuff or they know they're going to make a slip up, they have to try and get rid of the evidence. So they actually end up trying to delete the videos off their channel to do it really quick. Uh, hopefully before they notice that no one notices about it. But then there's people out there who watches the videos and say, oh, wait a minute, this guy's like saying he's going to leave the channel and now he's deleted the video there of that video and now he's like made a fool of himself all right okay here we go okay let's go up here and think up here Okay, so so it's LB for the potions. And what's this? Okay. Uh, actually, I think it's ah uh, okay. So I put those on. And those on. Okay. So if we come in here. Now we're in the zone. <clears throat> Go for the duel here. All right. It'll take me probably uh, some time to upload this video from point of view, but it's worth it anyway because. What I tend to do is I allow this time to do the video to a process. So I usually put on a thin on it where I can let the video process as I'm playing the game and stuff. So, so I'll just basically put it on private for a little bit and then I'll put a thin on it so it uploads later during the day. And I've got to be up been early in the morning tomorrow, so I've got to go to bed early tonight. Because uh, on Sunday, we got that football match tomorrow. So it should be quite a good World Cup final match. Actually, first time for Eng women's England football team to get into the World Cup final. Because they've been doing so well. Even though they look like... At the start, they weren't going to win, but they have. Uh, so that's the main thing. Right, here we go. Right, let's get all this stuff here and break all this up. Uh, I'm playing this on the Series X as well, so on the Xbox Series X. And I don't know, it really feels good. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. All right, let's go on here. All right, oh. All right, here we go. All right, oh. All right. Okay. Can we open the door here? All right, here we go. Uh. Woohoo, leveled up to level three. I think last time I was like, I think around about level 100 or something. I think the highest I've got to before or 80 odd or something on Diablo 3. I might have to go back to that at some point now because it's a really good game. Really good game. Uh oh. All right, here we go. Ooh. Got loads of them trying to kill me. Ah! There we go. Okay. 
Right, and we go. But usually, with the thing here as well, my phone sometimes heats up on the Samsung Galaxy S21 as well. I've noticed that, but it's because I'm doing it in a high uh, refresh rate of 60 FPS, but in 4K and HDR as well. So that's the reason why. And it's normal anyway, it's normal get, uh, to get those temperatures. Oh. All right, hang on. Oh. Oh, I've got all these, these like little rats or something. They're like rats. Sewer rats. All right, just trying to break up some of this stuff here. All right, here we go. I mean, there's a lot of these tunnels here. All right, let's have a look. I'm thinking here. Now, it looks pretty much usual stuff oh strides striders i've got those hang on striders hang on uh, and what is this one striders tunic oh there we go all right <clears throat> That means I could take more damage. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh my god, here we go. Here, oh, got more trying to kill me. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. There we go. Oh yeah, hang on. Uh, oh. Right, got you. Got you, got you. And we've got these fallen shamans. Got another shaman here. Oh. There's another fallen. All right. I need some more. Well, we're 22 minutes in, so we're not doing too bad. I just want to get this one mission out of the way, so just to show you a little bit of gameplay footage of this one. But yeah, I got this one for free, so it was all right. It wasn't too bad when I bought the console. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, come on. Fiery Fallen. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Right. Oh, don't, is this the the one coming up? Um, oh. Okay. Mm, gotcha. So I need some more of these. Veils or juice veils. Okay, so I've got this one. Go through here. Uh, but yeah, guys and girls, if you played the original games, the first three games, let us know in the comments below. Oh, all right, come on. All right. Oh, and I've got another one of these fallen shamans. All right, let's grab some of. I should have got any. What's in this room here? Ah, nothing in. 
just an empty room where would the fallen shaman okay okay there we go I'm kind of just testing out like different games for the console really actually see what uh, gameplays I could do maybe live streams I could do hang on uh, okay there we go Uh, aha. There you go. I think this is the one where I've got to try and get that uh, creature in a minute. Actually, let's have a look. Have we got a. Is that new sword? Um. Right. Okay, so this is the boss battle, I think. Just coming up. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, just being about to be hexed. All right, come on, come on. All right, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Ah, so I'm just gonna run for our lives. Alright, come on. Oh, got no more of those uh, blood or health things. Ooh. Ouch. Hmm. Oh, now I can hammer him like hell. Come on, come on. The skill is not working, no. Okay, come on. Alright, come on. 
Okay. Oh. Come on, look into it. Mm. Mm, come on. My guy's taking a lot of uh, damage, isn't he? Okay. Oh, like scorpions or something. Isn't it? These are like scorpions. Come on, we can do it. Come on. Oh. Ah, oh, I need some those uh, health things. Got any more health? Have a look. Uh -huh. And I'm oh. Oh. Ah. Come on. There we go. Right. Any more drops? Alright, come on. Alright, and I'm oh. can do it. Oh. Alright, need some health. Need some health or some drops. Come on. What? Come on. Drops, drops, drops. Come on, come on. Come on. 
can hunt. Oh, I'm out of healing. Oh, oh. Come on. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Ah! Almost as well as on the last, but I was on 10% health. But uh, do they actually have that last 10% or do I have to start all over again? Um. All right, let's have a look. Does it start back from the start again with that uh, creature? I think they start back with the health and stuff. If so, I'll probably do some of this tomorrow. But anyway, guys and girls, this uh, here we go. So it's back to the Baron. But anyway, cheers for watching, guys and girls. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next episode. If you like it, favorite, share, comment, subscribe, and see you soon.